Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Carla Bordonada and this is the Amplivox SW915. So I am a professional singer um, who recently moved to New York City a year ago. Um, as part of the whole New York experience, as a matter of fact, a lot of uh, musicians and singers and artists in general perform on the subway station, what you call busking on the subway. Um, in the interest of embracing that whole legitimate New York artist experience, I started looking on the internet for a different sound system that could potentially help me achieve that. So for me, the main three uh, traits for any speaker considering the place where I was interested in performing or am interested in performing uh, were essentially portability, um, the battery life, and of course, sound quality. Portability. You definitely need wheels, especially if you're walking on you know, uneven streets. Um, also for portability, a handle, a nice handle that you can pull the unit and not feel like it's too flimsy. That was uh, one of the main things, but of course, Battery life was very important. You definitely don't want to have to fight for an electricity outlet in the middle of the subway station. So that was definitely um, something I was looking for. And of course, in terms of sound quality, as I said, every singer, whether you're performing live with a guitar player or someone else, or if you're performing to track, you definitely, at the very least, need reverb. I think it doesn't matter if you're a trained singer, if you're untrained, every vocalist wants to have a little bit of that effect so they, that makes them sound a little bit more, frankly, more confident. So as part of my nearly six month long pursuit of the perfect unit, of course I went down to local music stores, the best known in, in the city, um, looking for the ideal unit for what I wanted to do. And in that pursuit, I actually found several units that were okay, like if you have a backyard party somewhere and you wanna play music, um, uh, units that actually, for the most part, lacked reverb. And as I mentioned, that was one of the main things that I actually wanted. Um, if you're not in perfect voice, a little bit of reverb goes a long way. I also tried or considered uh, getting units that you have to plug to an electricity outlet, thinking, well, you know, if I'm not gonna get a reverb with a unit, but I have the portability, it's still not enough so I probably want to get a regular unit and just get a generator. Now the problem with the generator is that if you get a regular red generator, you're going to have to get gasoline to make it work. I am frankly not even sure if that's even legal in the New York City subway system. Um, and the other alternative is to get a solar generator. And uh, I actually came across about two of them that you can either charge using solar panels or plug to the, your um, electricity outlet at home and they could conceivably work, but whenever I spoke to these companies asking the specifics about the unit and for how long they were gonna power, um, uh, and not this unit actually, the, the uh, other ones that I had considered that were not, um, um, that did not have a battery, uh, they could never give me a straight answer as to for how long they were actually gonna stay powered. Um, for the most part, they said probably two hours, two hours and a half. Now, if, if you're a musician, you probably know, most gigs, whether you're gonna do a gig at a restaurant, whether you're busking at the subway, at the very least, you need three hours, three to four hours to be able to, you know, make some money and tips and whatnot. So one of the things I did, ultimately, I didn't buy anything at this um, music store that I went to. I actually went online, found a unit that ran around $100, give or take, um, I thought, well, it's got a great price. It actually had reverb on it and had the little wheels with the handle, the, the, the same thing. And I thought, well, I could take my chances, try it out, and if not, I'll return it. Sure enough, I ended up returning it um, because it did have the reverb aspect and the, it, was, it was super light. I could carry it around if I'm going up or down the stairs. But in reality, if the sound quality is not, not going to be great, I would sooner spend a little more money and get a unit that actually showcases my voice better. So ultimately what happened is I came across this website. It's not even the, the company's website. It was a different website. Saw the unit, I saw the name Amplivox, looked it up on Google and went to their website, started reading about it and decided, you know what, let me give it a shot. They have actually a, um, a six year warranty. 
Um, they always say if you're going to return anything, you have to call ahead of time. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to take my chances and do it. Um, got this unit, and quite honestly, from the get-go, from the first time I tried it, um, I was very, very impressed. Not to say that it, it, it substitutes a, a larger sound system, like large JBLs that you would use at bigger venues. It's not really going to substitute that. But for the purpose of uh, performing outdoors when you need something to have a power source that's uh, inherent to the unit, it's absolutely perfect. So among the many specs that I read on their website, you can actually check it out yourself. Um, the website is amply.com. Um, it actually um, has, uh, the, the company actually has different packages um, from the smaller unit with, uh, to the next package, which is the same unit, but with extras. Um, the one that I actually got includes a wireless microphone as well as, as, well as a wired microphone. A case, which is super cool, I'll show it to you later, um, has pockets and whatnot. Um, and again, I mean, the sound quality is superb. You can actually control every aspect of the um, equalization, um, bass treble, uh, reverb, everything. You can control it yourself. It's not very hard to use. Obviously, it comes with a manual. Always recommended to use your manual. Um, and if you have any questions, customer service for this company is actually superb. So here I have unscrewed the antenna. You actually would screw or unscrew right over here. You have right underneath um, your wireless microphone next to the Bluetooth technology. So right underneath of that, you see the CD player with the USB drive right here, your auxiliary in for MP3 players and iPhones. And over here you have your SD card. As long as the tracks are in MP3 formats, you would be able to play them from here with no problem. So right under the CD player, you have all these knobs are over here. You have the master volume as well as the menu select. This is where you actually control everything that has to do with effects, reverb, bass, treble, etc. Your channel one, channel two, channel three corresponding to the wired microphones. And you have your um, auxiliary volume, which controls your MP3 player and smartphone volume. So this right here would be your RCA input through which you can actually play your tracks uh, from your laptop computer using iTunes or whatever software you use for sound. Right underneath you have another USB in, a little different from the other one, of course. And right underneath you have your channel one, two, and three for your wired microphones. And right over here, if you wanna plug any instrument like a guitar and whatnot, you can do so using the, the appropriate cables. So this here is a power switch followed by the 25 amp circuit breaker, and lastly, you're in for the charger for the unit. The wonderful thing about this unit, as I probably may have mentioned before, is that you can actually charge it for 10 hours, um, and it will, have, it will provide continuous use for 10 hours, or you can also use it while it's plugged, so you can do either or. The first thing that you wanna do when you, before you even power on the unit is you wanna uh, screw the antenna right here, like so, you make sure that that's nice and upwards because this is definitely going to improve your signal for the wireless microphone. After that, of course, you turn on the unit over here. And basically the rest of it, just, it's just up to you. If you have tracks on a CD that you want to play, then you would go right here and turn on the power button. If you have tracks on a USB drive, you would actually insert right here and also turn on the power button, but you would make sure that you press on the button underneath the power button that says USB. Okay, okay what, what I would, I would now, now like to do would be to test, test both microphones, the wireless and the wired, wired mic. mic. They, they don't, don't seem, seem to have, have that, that much of a difference, difference uh, when, when you're, you're speaking. speaking. One, one, two, two, one, two. two. When, when you're singing, singing though, though, and especially, especially in, person, in person, maybe I'm, I'm not sure if you can actually hear it on this video. But in person, you can actually hear this microphone. The wireless microphone is a little bit brighter. Check, Check one, two. two. Check, Check one, two. two. Just a little, a little bit brighter. brighter. Um, singing. Singing. Let's, Let's try, try the uh, Star, Star Spangled, Spangled Banner. Banner. <clears throat> Lower oh, register. register. Oh, say. Oh, say. See, it's a little, a little bit. bit. Th not, not to say that, that this is actually this sounds surprisingly, surprisingly good. good. Uh, this, this one actually surprises, surprises me even, even more. more. Uh, oh, say, oh, say. And the rocket traveling. On the 
higher notes, it's actually pretty good. There's no feedback whatsoever. I'm not even on the highest setting as far as volume. I'm on probably the third setting. Not for nothing, but it's very impressive. I'm, I'm personally very impressed. It's got good uh, bass, good treble. Of course, you can control that depending on your voice. If you have a lighter voice, a more bassy sound, um, you're going to want to adjust that to your liking. Uh, two, one, two. But I think it's pretty impressive that whether you're a belter or you're not so much of a belter, you could do high notes, um, head, head voice notes as well. I mean, I think um, for what we're looking for, considering it's all about um, performing outdoors, performing at a place where, such as a subway station, that can be pretty loud, it carries on. It really does carry on um, the sound, and that's only a cappella, and again, as I said, only on the third setting of the master volume. You can actually control individual volumes on this as well, as you will see on the manual. Let's give it a shot, um, hearing the an actual, an actual track, track and see how it goes. Okay, okay so, so now, now we're going to check, check the tracks. tracks. And, and in fact, fact I would like to mention the fact that this conveniently has a remote control. control. I'm going to use it now. So, so at this point, point I've used um, a USB thumb drive on the USB drive that's right on, right next to the CD player. So what I do on the remote control, I just press the button for CD and I hit play. A speaker such as this, but I definitely have to say, um, for the portability that it offers, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, the fact that it has a handle that extends pretty high, actually, I'm 5'9", and it's very comfortable for me to carry it around, I am convinced that this is actually the best unit there is out there, as far as portability, um, battery life, and sound quality. So in short, the Amplivox SW915 is a pretty wonderful unit. It actually features, which I didn't mention before, a um, carrying case that protects it from the rain. It has a very thin layer of fabric right here that um, allows it to be protected while you perform without having a muffled sound. It also has uh, Velcro secured pockets where you can store all these wonderful items. Up to 10 standby hours of battery life, 250 watts, six years of limited warranty on the unit itself, and one year of warranty for the CD player, the battery, and wireless transmitter. I think it's a wonderful deal. If you want to see more on the details, just go to the website, www.ampli.com. My name is Carla Bordonada. Thank you for watching.